Hey, what's up, guys? This is DTJ reminding you to like, subscribe, and shop on my store when you get a chance. Today, I want to talk about what to do when you get a ticket. Yes, that's right. A ticket driving out in Japan. When you're driving out in Japan, eventually you will get a ticket. As you know, I've been driving in Japan for over 20 years, and I can't tell you how many tickets I've gotten throughout the years. Well, let's just say it's less than most, but more than others. I consider myself to be a damn good driver, but in the end, you just will get a ticket. It's just the way it is. So, when you get stopped by an officer, they will give you two things. A blue sheet that looks like this, explaining why they stopped you. It'll have your name, address, age, and driver's license number on it. Whatever you do, don't lose this sheet. We'll get back to that later. They will also give you a pay slip to pay at a post office. So you will have about a week to pay the fine at the post office. If you miss that deadline, then you will have to pay it at a police office. <laughs> so use your choice, post office or the police station. And trust me, you don't want to be doing that, so it's better to just pay as soon as you can. I immediately put these slips in my glove box so I don't lose them. And hey, listen, everyone has their own financial issues. I get it, trust me. And depending on the ticket, you might not be able to pay it right away. For example, and I will just tell you the costs of certain fines based off of my experience of getting tickets out here. Infractions such as not coming to a complete stop, running a red light, or speeding on a regular street will cost you 7,000 yen. Speeding on an expressway can cost you around 20,000 yen. Parking tickets, Man, these are actually the worst because <laughs> they double down on you. They tow your car for one, and then you have to pay the tow, and on top of that, you have to pay the cops. And that could be over 35,000 yen, almost 40,000 yen, actually. Yikes. So, yeah, these can put stress on your budget, and that's what they're designed to do. And you might procrastinate on paying the bill. Just know that if you do, you won't be able to re-register your car at the LTO unless you resolve your pending tickets. So let's get back to how to do that. So before you step into the post office, you have to bring pay slip that the officer gave you as well. When you go inside, you will take a purple slip from the counter, put your name on it, your address and your phone number, and then grab a number from the counter and take a seat. Then you will give the person at the counter your purple form, the pay slip and the money for the ticket. They in turn will give you a new number and then you will sit down. Then you will wait again until they call you up and then they will give you your change and a receipt. Do not lose this receipt. As a matter of fact, put it in the glove compartment post haste because Japanese agencies are notorious for losing air quotes your payments. They will literally come back three to four years later and say you didn't pay something. And when you say you did, they will say, well, do you have a receipt? This literally happened to me with the water company, the electric company, police, and others. To the point, I thought I was being targeted. <laughs> but guess what? DTJ is nothing if not prepared. And so, hell yeah, I had all my receipts and they just turned around and went home. So let's say you don't pay the ticket on time, right? If you at least have the blue slip, you can go back to a large police station, not a police box or a Koban. You're going to go back to a large police station in your area and pay it there. If you don't even have the blue slip because you lost it for whatever reason, then you have to, again, go to the police station with your ID, your driver's license, and explain why you didn't pay on time and why you can't find the slip. It can get uncomfortable and they'll make you wait for a long time. So try to avoid that at all costs. I would say from experience, it's just easier if you have the blue slip because they have all your information that they need and they'll just go back and print out another ticket and then you just pay it right there on the spot. After that is done, you are good to go and you shouldn't have any issues refreshing your car title because your tickets are paid off. And that is how you handle a ticket in Japan. Try not to get one though. Use coin parking at all times, even if you're just going in to get a quick haircut or something. So I'll tell you a quick story. Many years back, <laughs> I mean, I was only like 20, I think. I literally went in to get a haircut, came outside, and my car was gone. <laughs> yeah, they're fast as hell. So I think that was only in the span of 20 minutes. It's big money to be made out here towing your car and pissing you off. So avoid it, okay? 
I'm DTJ. Thanks for watching. Check out my store at daddyteachpan.com and subscribe. See you on the next one. DTL.